Finally, we have the ability to control media sources in OBS. The ability to play, to stop, to pause, fast forward, and rewind. I'm gonna walk you through how to do it in this video. Welcome to the channel. My name is Monty Weaver, helping you navigate through digital tech and social media. So if you need assistance in any of those areas, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to receive alerts every time I upload a brand new video. Now I'm excited about this video because being able to control your media sources is a big deal. It's one of the things that's been lacking in OBS, which is understandable considering OBS is a free platform and we get tremendous out of their free platform. But it's one of the things that I've used Wirecast to do this function previously because it just simply was built into the platform. But recently I was in a Facebook group and someone posted a plugin to actually be able to now control your media sources and I wanted to share it with you. So we're gonna jump into the computer, walk you through how to do this, that way you can replicate it for yourself. Now keep in mind, this is currently only available for Windows computers and the Mac version is being worked on. So I encourage you to visit the OBS website and check out the forms to stay updated in real time. And just check in the form section anyway for a lot of Q&A that goes on back there and notifications just like this when a cool plugin is released. So let's take a look at the computer and go from there. Now, before we actually install the plugin, we want to make sure that we have the upgraded Visual C++ on our Windows computer. Now, the reason I wanna point this out first is because I actually went to install this on my laptop, had some issues with the new plugin not showing and found that I needed to update this specific C++ software first. So I'll link to this website in the description of this video as well, but you'll need to go down and make sure that you select either the X64 or X86. And again, most cases X64 is what you'll need. Make sure you install that first, then restart your computer, and then we can tap into installing the OBS plugin. After you've installed the C++ software, then we'll come over to this site where we can actually download the plugin to control the media uh, controllers in OBS. You can kind of see and get a visual of what these controllers look like, basic operations that we're all used to seeing. And then as we scroll down, you'll see a download option as well. Click on that download option. You will actually be given a zip file that will appear on your desktop. Once you open up that zip file, you'll see two folders there. You'll want to make sure that you unzip these folders. Now I've already unzipped these folders and put them on my desktop. As you can see here, my two additional folders. Then we will go and copy these folders and update our OBS. So what we'll do first is right click and copy. And then we're gonna navigate to where our OBS is saved on our computer. In my case, it's saved in the C drive, under program files, and under OBS Studio. I will right click and paste and replace all my files. Just do all the default options. Let's make sure we close OBS. Now, once these folders have copied over, then we will simply open up OBS. All right, now that we have OBS open, we will go into the top section under view, select docs, and then we'll see that media controls is now a new option for us. So we'll go ahead and select that. We'll get the pop-up box right in the middle of the screen. You can take any of these boxes and push those into your uh, bottom console of OBS. So we'll move this a little bit bigger right here. So now what I'll do is add a, another scene so that we can actually see what this looks like and we'll call it video. And we'll add a media source and we'll just call this demo. Select okay. And then I'll browse to video on my desktop and this will be oh let's go 
this video here. And now you'll see in the bottom, there is actually the play, stop, fast forward, and rewind. So let's transition this over so we can actually see this. And if you notice, let's come off studio mode so you can see this bigger. We'll make this bigger. I can pause it. I can scroll ahead in this video. I can select play. I can fast forward this video as well. So we'll pause it. We can rewind this video. So now you have OBS media controls that allow you can control your video much easier than trying to fumble around over some type of different strategy of how to play it. It eliminates the need for the headache of just trying to make sure everything is in order when you actually get ready to go live. So I hope this video helps you actually now be able to control your media sources in OBS. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure you hit the like button if you found this video helpful because it does help the channel grow. My name is Monty Weaver and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.